Hi, good evening, everyone. So, in today's class, beta, we are going to continue with chapter nine of Blanchard, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about the short run period followed by disinflation. बहुत बहुत difficult topic है. You have to listen to me very carefully. So, what we proved that in the long run, we have neutrality of money. so when i say that in the long run we have neutrality of money beta it means that u is equal to un gy is equal to gy bar pi jo inflation hai it is adjusted inflation adjusted inflation kya thi gm bar minus gy bar so when we talk about the long run we have proved That actually we are always towards the equilibrium, है ना हमने ये already prove किया है. But now we want to ask ourselves what happens in the short run. Short run में तो जरूरी नहीं है ना that output will be growing at uh, the uh, normal rate, no, you know, uh, will be growing at the natural rate, right? Or normal rate. Short run में तो जरूरी नहीं है ना that unemployment rate will be at natural rate of unemployment. Now it's not compulsory. so the question that that now is asked and that can come in exam is uh, suppose aisa kuch puchenge suppose central bank decides to decrease nominal money supply suppose central bank decides to decrease nominal money supply what will be the impact in short run hmm. okay beta now listen to me very carefully dekho pehle samajhte hain fir likhenge ha dekho jab maine money supply ko decrease kiya तो ऑटोमेटिकली एम बाय पी भी डिक्रीज हो गया इट विल डिक्रीज सो बेटा व्हेन एम बाय पी विल डिक्रीज व्हाट विल हैपन इट इज गोइंग टू गो अहेड एंड इट इज गोइंग टू शिफ्ट द एलएम कर्व बैकवर्ड्स सो बेटा जब भी एलएम कर्व शिफ्ट होता है व्हेन एवर द एलएम कर्व विल शिफ्ट व्हाट विल हैपन टू द एग्रीगेट डिमांड कर एडी कर विल शिफ्ट बैकवर्ड so if you remember i have done with you what is the um, what is the ad relation hai na humne ad relation ki baat ki thi and but what was aggregate demand relation the ad relation just come back here let's have a look here when i talk about thoda sa upar dekhte hain yahan par hum so when i talked about my ad relation then this was my ad relation GYT is equal to GMT minus PI T, है है ना? So it was GYT is equal to GMT minus PI T. So beta, when the growth of money is falling, when money supply is falling, then output growth will also fall, ना? AD shifting backward, output should reduce. So it, there will be also a decrease in the output growth. सो so, बेटा जब ये आउटपुट ग्रोथ फॉल करेगी सो थ्रू द ओकुन लॉ व्हाट डू वी नो वी नो दैट व्हेन देयर इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज इन द आउटपुट ग्रोथ इट इज गोइंग टू कॉज हाउ डज द ओकुन लॉ अफेक्ट इट इज गोइंग टू कॉज चेंजेस इन द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जो होगी दैट विल स्टार्ट टू इंक्रीज एंड बेटा अगर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट बढ़ेगी तो थ्रू फिलिप्स कर वॉट डू आई नो थ्रू फिलिप्स कर आई नो दैट देर इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज इन द इन्फ्लेशन राइट सो जब हम टाइट एंड मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी को फॉलो करते हैं वेन वी गो अहेड एंड वेन वी फॉलो अ टाइटर मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी टाइटर मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मीन्स वॉट वेन वी रिड्यूज द मनी सप्लाई इट मीन्स दैट आउटपुट ग्रोथ विल फॉल and fall in output growth that is called as recession 
so it will cause fall in the output growth and it will also cause deflation or lower inflation so it will also cause lower inflation but a book has explained this excellently through a table what table bahut important hai bahut zyada and i will be teaching you that table now but before that let's just write everything down theek hai so please start with so write down that when the supply of money is reduced or you can say that tighter monetary policy is followed it causes so i'm just writing whatever we have learned here so when tighter monetary policy is followed the supply of money is reduced it causes fall in the growth rate of nominal money and from the aggregate demand relation it results in the fall of output growth so i will just write down that relation here beta so gy is equal to gm minus pi t i have already derived this i mean i derived kar diya hai pehle hai na in the last class so beta this is falling and hence this is also falling write down now using the okun's law beta what is okun's law saying 0.4 ke sath wala dekhna ek bari so the okun's law states that if i just go back to what i have taught you beta wala nahi dekh rahe i'm looking at 0.41 ha so okun's law stated that ut minus ut minus 1 will be minus 0.4 gyt minus 3 to kar dete hain yahan pe beta okun's law states that ut minus ut minus 1 is minus 0.4 gyt minus 3 or change in unemployment rate is minus 0.4 gyt minus 3 so beta when gyt falls decreases ye fall kar raha hai so this will be negative followed by a negative sign it will become positive then change in unemployment rate it will become positive or ut minus ut minus 1 will be positive so ut will be greater than ut minus 1 so what are we saying in this case in this case we are saying that whenever there is going to be a fall in the growth rate of the output it is going to go ahead and it is going to cause an increase in the unemployment rate dekho pichle saal se is saal unemployment rate zyada hai so output growth below normal below normal matlab this is normal now below 3% so below normal leads to unemployment rate above last year's unemployment so but now the unemployment rate has started increasing if the unemployment rate increases how is that going to go ahead and affect your philips curve so let's write down so using philips curve equation it leads to decrease in 
इनफ्लेशन राइट बेटा सो इन्फ्लेशन विल डिक्रीज क्लियर हुई ये बात सो द इन्फ्लेशन रेट डिक्रीज सो वॉट इज माई फाइनल कंक्लूजन दैट आई है सो देर फोर टाइटर मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी टाइटर मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मीन्स वॉट वेन यू हैव मनी सप्लाई डिक्रीजिंग लीड्स टू डिक्रीज इन आउटपुट एंड इंक्रीज इन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड डिक्रीज इन इन्फ्लेशन इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स बेटा वेन यूर आउटपुट इज डिक्रीजिंग ना दैट इट सेल्फ इज कॉल्ड एज रिसेशन सो इट लीड्स टू रिसेशन एंड वेन यूर इन्फ्लेशन इज डिक्रीजिंग इट्स कॉल्ड डिफ्लेशन सो इट लीड्स टू डिफ्लेशन एंड रिसेशन बोथ एट द सेम टाइम दोनों ही चीज आ रही है और डिफ्लेशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डिस इन्फ्लेशन सो इन डिस इन्फ्लेशन भी हो रहा है और रिसेशन भी आ रहा है नाउ लेट एस लुक एट दैट टेबल वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थोड़ा इंटरप्रिटेशन बहुत ध्यान से करना होगा उस टेबल का सो ले 